My name is Ian Thompson and I work for Agile Broadcast in Australia. We're a systems integrator and distributor of broadcast equipment. The Australian market is like every other, I suppose, in terms of broadcasters are facing the challenges that the advertising spends are going to other places and so on, and everyone wants to, everyone wants to be able to get the same functionality that they've had or better um, at a better price, and they certainly want more functionality being able to be put together easier and um, managed easier by their own in-house people if possible. We've had some good success uh, in Australia with Wheatstone so far and uh, it seems to be growing too. Uh, we've had the joy of installing and integrating quite a few different systems. We always look at um, the projects that we've done in the past and looking at the Wheatstone ones in particular, they're the ones that seem to just operate and we don't have problems with. We've got very satisfied customers who um, have good products in place and have been in place for a long period of time and they just run, they just work. Wheatnet IP, our largest site to date is um, four E6 consoles, about 17 blades, about six IP drivers, a bit of a baptism of fire for us. Um, it was great from the point of view of um, when we put it together, we had a little bit of custom things that we needed to do in Australia in the way we wanted some of the mixed minusing to happen. And so we needed a little bit of um, assistance from Wheatstone in the, the way the console did it for their market over here wasn't quite the same as what we needed for in Australia. And uh, we had a phone conference with Andy and uh, Kelly and within about 48 hours we had some updated firmware and it did everything that we wanted it to do and that was fantastic. You couldn't ask for better service. Audio processing, we've had a lot of success with VP8 pluses in Australia. Um, we've had a lot of people that uh, deploy VP8s on FM services. We've got a couple of groups in Australia that have both FM and AM services. So they'll often have a VP8 sitting on a shelf as a backup processor for any transmission site. They know that they can go out, take it out. The joy of having one box being able to do both is just fantastic. And we've got VP8s being used quite a bit in streaming services as well. We're getting a lot of growing interest in the Air Aura, particularly the X3 now with the new software and uh, we're keen to get that out into some people's hands and on air with one of the majors hopefully in the next month. I think for me working with a company like this is the fact that we just feel like we have great access to them and we know there's nothing too hard. So far there's nothing too hard. Um, in Australia we're a bit of a funny market, we like to take a product and say that's great, we just want it to do a bit more and stuff like that, so that's what we do. Um, and as a result of that, you know, we've had some really good success and we're looking to build on that even further.